Hello and welcome to my Portal 2 Let's Play. Um, I would like to say it's the first time I've played it and I haven't seen anything and that would be good for the video but I had downloaded it before the download had gone slightly wrong. No, I won't talk about you, Scott. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. What if I didn't want to? Oh well. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Okay. Good now. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There's a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. Yes, there is. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. I'm staring. <laughs> you should now feel mentally reinvigorated. Yeah. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Okay, that's a nice music. I'm happy with that. No, it's Good. horrible. Now, please return to your bed. No, uh, I, I want to talk to you. Yeah, so, uh, I have played Moat for quite a lot of it before, but the uh, download before had bugged out, so uh, lots of the uh, textures were pink and black, checkered, which is great. And I also, I had been recording it, but uh, my audio was too quiet, so I couldn't hear anything I said when I played it back, so uh, I'm doing it again. Well, that was rubbish, basically. So uh, I have checked the textures work now, so... And they do, so that's good. Good enough, guys. Good night. Music. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 are you going to open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. No, it's fine. Oh, just open the door! No, I refuse. Hello, friend. Why not open the door? You sound evil. Could be Spanish. Could be Spanish. Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. I'm not Spanish. No, um... I'm French. Fine. No, but absolutely fine. It's not like I don't have, you know, 10,000 other test subjects begging me to help them escape. You know, it's not like this place is about to explode. What is the battle spine? All right. Ah, Help. Ah, Help. Oh, God. You look... Um, good. Looking good, actually. Thank are you. Are you okay? How, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please time. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. That's all I'm saying. Prepare. That's all fine. Don't, get any of that. Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Hey, oh, thank you. You might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. What? To you. What? what? What do you mean we do? What do you mean? Why do I want to hang on to something? What, what's happening? Am I moving? Is this an earthquake? Yeah, I'm fine. What, what's happening really? Hello? Yeah, what, what's happening? Help me! Please! I'm scared! Subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. What? What? But don't be alarmed, oh, alright? Uh, although if you do if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because because that, that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this it's a little make worrying. sense? Just tell me, just yeah. say yes. Yes, yes, I'm a little worried. Okay, uh, what you're doing there jump. is jumping. Yeah. Uh, you just you just jumped. Okay. But never mind, yeah. say it after. I think I might have brain damage. I can't can't speak, I just jumped. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Okay. That's fine. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. That's bad, I think. What's happening? Oh, oh god. Okay, look, I wasn't gonna hey, what, what's happening? to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. Oh wow. How are you doing cool. down there? You're still holding on? Oh wow. Cool. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. I'm holding on, Wheatley. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why 
should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? Close. Thank you, Gordon. Am I gonna make it through? But I love space. No, no, you don't. No, you, don't. Uh, you can't fight this thing. For love here. nor money. I, I just can't concentrate. And yeah. whose fault do you think it's gonna be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Oh. Yeah, it's like half the floor's collapsed, really. We're okay, doing so them about this. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's gonna ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? They and don't. Dead. Okay, almost there. You have to mess yourself. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. <laughs> There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. No, we need. The sun says 500 feet below. We, we need what? No. You're an idiot. 500 idiot. feet below. That is not a docking station. That's what I'm telling you. One mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold yeah, on. Very technical. This is random. Almost there. Remember. You're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Okay, we're in. Well, there we go. Now I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that yeah. little jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Okay, we here we go. I might have brain damage. Tempting. Ooh. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in 3, 2, 1. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, starting room in the first portal game. Uh, it's not like a big apocalypse or anything. It'd be terrible. Cube and button based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button based testing caused this emergency, don't worry, the odds of this happening twice are very slim. Yeah, so this is the first test chamber from the first portal game, except uh, in the first portal game, it looked a lot cleaner, doesn't it? It looks wrecked. Yeah, it's wrecked. This place. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This aperture science material emancipation grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Hmm. Nice. That's nice to know. Okay, so we've still got long loading screens on the first portal. Uh, yeah, the uh back in the aperture. Time to test. If that. you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your what? head. What? He's emancipating my, my ear tubes. That's bad, isn't it? That's very bad. Lie on your back and apply immediate pressure to your channels. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Yeah, the portal tube just crashed there. Or some other thing I've got going. It crashed on. What about it? Um, okay, so my ear tubes might have been emancipated. That's not good. Ooh, portal. Yeah, uh, before my dad loaded it, these buttons. They were pink and black, so it was a bit weird. I mean, everything worked, it just, and some of the doors later on, they were pink and black too. I mean, everything worked and stuff, but uh, it just wasn't quite the same. It didn't look. Yeah, but um, 
Anyway. Oh, back in portal. Um, I prefer Gladys's voice as the, the announcer. I like the way Gladys sounds, to be honest. I think she comes with pink batteries, so uh, that's fine now. Even though it's broken. Well, the skit camera. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to run the count right down the analysis of your test. An aperture science reintegration associate will revive you for an interview with the when society has been rebuilt. Okay. I find it a bit annoying the fact that it's all unsupervised and knowing how dangerous the tests got in the first portal game, I'd, I'd quite like them to be uh, supervised. It would make me feel a little it's currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to us. I quite like these animations. They're good. Uh, the Animal King takeover. That uh, is an Animal King, which is just a, a retextured tuppet with a crown. I think that's the idea, though. So. Okay, so the portal gun should be there. Hey, you made hey Wiggy! There should be a Hello. portal device on that podium over there. Uh, see it, no, 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 no. Maybe it fell off. Do you want to go have a quick look? Um, okay, I'll go look. Ah, uh, not good. Hello? Sweetly, hello? Can you see the portal gun? Mm, no, oh my god. Are you alive? Yeah. That's important, should have asked that first. I'm alive, sweetly. I'm gonna come on. I'm going to make the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour. Okay. Okay. Hour, yep, I'll see you in an hour. Dead. If I'm not dead, that's fine. So here's the portal gun. Yeah, one portal portal gun. Right click doesn't do anything. Wow, the these new wheels they're, uh, they're a little weird. I don't know what they're about. Yeah. I can place portals on a white surface. I don't want to bounce there, I don't want to go. And uh, you can see yourself through portals, so uh, just like... Uh, anyway, I've got the gun. Oh yeah, look, that way I am. Uh, that's me. There's lots of plants in here. I can do it. I guess I didn't kill Gladys. I might have left something not to do. Oh well. She's fine. I don't mind about her. It's no problem. Yeah. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robotics. To share. Because that makes me feel so much better. I don't really want to uh, be with lethal military androids anyway, you know. Right, you yeah. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Okay, uh... Are you completely android? Uh, what, what are you talking about? It, there's not going to be any lethal military androids, are there? I'm sure not. Of course not. That would, that would be terrible. <laughs> if that were. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed. Oh, I, three, I hate two, jazz. One. That doesn't help at all. I don't know. Oh, at least the jazz has stopped. Uh, I don't see what's dangerous about this test chamber, so uh, that's fine, that's good. Look at me. I'm a girl. Not in real life, no, just, just again. Ah, test chamber. They've reused loads of test chambers from the first portal game. Except they have just 
just the idea, so they don't have to make a new one. Graphics have changed completely. Ceilings broken, and there's plants everywhere. Okay, that was buggy. Oh, I need to be up. Yeah, so, uh, I've played the first Great work. So, because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Ah, uh, uh, I'm on my... Oh, oh gosh. Okay. I don't think that was meant to happen. Uh... Very well. Uh, what happened with that? What content that was meant to happen? Yeah, it's dead. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm occasionally getting some lag. Yeah. It's bad. I can't see. Take me there. And, uh, unreason. No idea what that means. I won't worry about it. Oh. Okay, I'll just go through here. Ah. The elevator. Do you remember your evaluation? E no. No, I don't. Actually. I never had evacuation training, so sorry. Goodbye. Um, yeah, I'm slightly worried about what happened here. You know, it's been a long time. But it's okay. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Okay. That looks weird. Um, oh well. Uh, on the floor, I can... I can... Um, okay, they're like... There's a button. Ah, oh, and there's a few over there. Okay. Alright, here we go. There, beautiful. Yes, no one can go on here. Huh? How do I do that? Ah, oh, cube. One help. Water, so, water. Go through there. Up there. Internet. Great. So, what's that? Oh, that'll help. Not yet. Okay. Timing. Oh yes. I like a bow. Okay, get the cube. Get the cube. Put it on the bottom. Oh yes. Oh yes. Well done. The enrichment center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 .1 oh, volts. Oh, that's not nice. Evil robots. Good company. Yeah, we good company. Evil robots like GLaDOS. I mean, yeah, we need guys. I like it. GLaDOS. Oh, oh, nice. Uh, please remain calm. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. Oh, cool. The laws of physics no longer apply in the future. God help you. <laughs> ah, that's nice. Uh, well, I'm not calm. I'm only in an apocalypse. I mean, why would I be scared? Why would I not be calm in, in an apocalypse? I mean, is there even an apocalypse? Or was this test chamber just in this dispute? What, what is it? Uh, yeah, I like that picture there. It's going to go down, come out fast, and fly. That's cool. I like it. Ooh. Oh, yes. Motion blur. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future. And the future starts with you. Yay, the future starts with me.